All right, so slope, section 6.5. Um, in the simplest form, it's basically just rise over run. Um, in a more complex form, or what's called the slope formula, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which we'll see uh, how to use a little bit later. So first, in its simplest form, um, if you're given the picture of a graph, or if you can at least pick out two points on a graph, you can find the slope of each one. If I know that the slope is rise, over run, and I find a point here, say at the top, or this one in the middle, I can figure out what the rise and the run is. So I go from the from this point here at the bottom, up one, over one, two. So my rise over my run is going to be one over two. It's a positive slope because it's sloping uphill. Okay, so this is a positive slope. This one here is sloping downhill, so I know right away this is going to be a negative slope. Again, I look to see for two points. Okay, let's pick this one here in the middle. It goes down one, two, and over one. So my rise is two, my run is one. So my rise over run is equal to two over one, but remember I have to make it negative because I know that it's sloping downhill. It doesn't matter whether you put the negative on the top or the bottom, it still shows negative. If you have a negative on the top and the bottom, then it's actually a positive slope in disguise. Oops. This here, a straight up and down line, is what's called undefined. Because what happens is your rise over your run ends up being, well, the rise, it always rises. So rise could be anything, doesn't matter, we'll call it box. My run, well, it never runs, so it's zero. So it doesn't matter what your rise is. If your run is zero, you have an undefined slope. This one is what's called a zero slope. So I've undefined is straight up and down, and zero is straight across. Because my rise over my run in this case, it doesn't rise at all, so my rise is zero. My run, it's always running, so it could be anything. So if you have a zero on the top, that means that my slope is zero. Zero on the bottom means undefined. So those are the two terms you would use. I would say that's an undefined slope and that's a zero slope. Now we're given points. So now we have to use the slope formula. We have m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If I'm labeling points here, these would be my x that would be my y. Because this is my first point, we're going to call those x1, y1. Second point, so I have x2, y2. Remember that the first point is the first part is x, second part is 0. So when I'm plugging these into the formula, the top is my y. So that's based on my y values, just my second points, or my second values inside the bracket. y2 is this one over here, which is 8. y1 is that one over there, which is 0. So on top, I have 8 minus 0, which is 8. On the bottom, I have x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is negative 4. That's important to put the negative sign because that's going to change, right? Finally, I have 8 minus 0, which is 8, 3 minus negative 4. Remember that if I have a minus negative, it becomes a plus, so I get a 7 on the bottom. Reduce the fraction if you can. In this case, we can't, so it stays 8 over 7 positive. So it's a positive slope. It's the same as rise over run, only instead of saying rise, I say the change in my y values. So I say change in y over the change in my x, which is change in x. Um, change is, is denoted by delta, which is looks like a triangle. It's kind of supposed to be the Greek letter D, but that's all right. So change in y, which is up and down, rise, change in x, left and right, run. Next one, so I have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You can put brackets if you want, you don't have to. Again, you can label your points x1, y1, x2, y2. Right, I'm just putting the, the points above. So my y2 point is negative 4. Remember to always start with the second 
number in the set of brackets because that's your y values. Negative 4 minus 3 divided by negative 4 minus 6. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Here I have a case where I have a negative on the top and the bottom. Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, we can just say that the slope is 7 over 10 with no negatives. Okay, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Next, graph the line given a point and a slope. So first thing I do is I start off with my point. So negative 4, negative 3 would be negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. It's my first point. And I use my slope. Keep in mind this is a positive slope. Rise of 2, 1, 2. Run of 3, 1, 2, 3. Put a point. Rise of 2, 1, 2. Run of 3, 1, 2, 3. Put a point. And I could keep on doing that. Rise of 2, run of 3. Rise of 2, run of 3. And you should see that the, the points lie in a straight line. Connect the points. Put arrows on the ends of your line to show it goes on forever, and you're done. Positive slope, sloping upwards. Rise, over run. Okay, second one. I start with my, my point, negative 3, comma 3, which is up here. This time I have a, point, a slope of negative 1 over 2. So negative 1 on the top means I'm going down instead of up. Down instead of up. So I go down 1, over 1, 2. Down 1 over 2, down 1, over 2. If I put the negative sign on the bottom, so if I said, well, let's say this is negative, or 1 over negative 2, still a negative slope, it's exactly the same slope as this, it's just this time the negative sign is on the bottom. But they are the same slope. It's negative 1 half, or this is negative 1 half. Okay, it's just where the negative sign is. So in this case, I would go up 1, up 1, but instead of going right, I would go to the left 2. So up one, back two. I'll use green to show these points. Up one, back two. Up one, back two. Notice that those points, those green dots, still lie on the exact same line. So they're still part of the line. It's just a different, uh, different position. Connect your points, put arrows on the end of your line, ends of your line, and you're done. Okay, so keep in mind that negative slopes can be written with a negative sign on the top or the bottom. Negative slopes down, positive slopes up. And that's it.